Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois, and we're gonna talk about the karmic two by four or the karmic boomerang. Which one is going to help you? Neither one. Let me explain why, okay? We're ending a close to 15 year cycle here. And people are being funneled towards the exit. However, it does require you to sink or swim. You have to, swimming involves your light body. And I shall say it like this, flying. Okay, it involves opening your wing structure, your light body, several more chakras. Not everything all at once because that would really destabilize you and you'd be, whoa, okay. That would be worse than a Kundalini awakening than having it gradually, gradually, gradually become a part of you through twin flame reconnection, etheric body reconnection. Okay. Some people have, you know, had no choice. They have sunk down, but as they rise up again, they're faced with some of this karma. Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to repeat it? So the karmic two by four knocks you upside the head, almost as if to say, what were you thinking? Did you think you could do those things and expect different results? You're repeating the same thing, or you're repeating it with the same people, or you're having the same conflicts or the same arguments, or even worse, the mentality is saying, but it's the principle of the thing. No, it's not. It's time to get off of that right now because... That may be some just mind method of rationalizing. The human mind is a wonderful thing, but it's also an incredibly scary thing when it tries to rationalize things that just don't make sense. And they don't make sense anymore, okay? Time for real change. This is going to mean things for people like changing, actually changing, make one change. And change is hard because as mammals on this planet, we do like a certain amount of routine. We're affected by the light, you know, how much light we're intaking. We have our diurnal rhythms. We have our seasonal rhythms. And yet it is speeding up on us. We no longer get our footing into one season and the season's already changing. And the footing is like, it's like, you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> it reminds me of those fun houses at a carnival where it's like the floor is doing this and you're, you're holding on, but you're like, whoa, this is fun. But in your life, this is not fun, right? It's not fun. And are you crazy or do you want more karma? Let's see. I'll have karma with a side of hot fudge, please. No, you don't. It's not going to taste good any way you slice it. Now, you might be in observation mode of your own life where you stand back and you say, is that really just happening again? That's actually a good state if you're in that because that means that you are able to take that pause right then and there, the minute you observe it, the minute that you can be a hermit for a split second and just be like, oh, I think I'll do this differently, or I think I'll walk away, or there's got to be something better than this, okay? You don't need any more karmic two-by-fours upside your head because that's going to hurt. It's going to make sure that you're well aware of it, and it is going to be glaringly obvious to you. What about the karmic boomerang? This is when you think that you have done something and somehow it comes back to slap you so hard it blows up in your face it like really begins a shocking drain and what can do this well making hasty decisions not consulting your higher self that is a big one a lot of people do not know how to properly commune so that they can get their day's guidance because within that day's guidance will be a little bit of just what's for today, maybe what's coming up, and maybe what's for your next season. That's it. Your higher self doesn't want you overwhelmed. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, 
get off the karmic wheel. You didn't incarnate for more karma. Now, however you incarnated, and this is where it gets tricky for people, because a lot of people are in their now moment. They're in their body and they're like, did I really choose this for my life? Did I really choose those challenges? Did I really choose those lessons? Here's what you need to know. You do no longer need to learn those lessons and repeat that karmic history. You might have to learn something, but as you learn about your body, what you need to learn begins to come to you very naturally. Number two, your soul wants to support you and help things flow for you. Your soul and your higher self does not like it when you're treading water, repeating the same karmic things, the same karmic bullshit, okay? Karmic bullshit is karmic bullshit. It's like people that like, you know, drive along and then they're like, oh, please, you know, save my brakes. Please, guardian angels, put a little extra brake padding there because I'm just too scattery to stop and get my brakes done. And, you know, it's going to tie my car up for half a day. And I just don't think I can do that. Gosh, I'd have to ask someone for a ride or ask a colleague at work to carpool with them. And, oh, my God, I'm so afraid of people. And so what happens? They are perpetuating their own misery. There's got to be a better way. Well, there is. And your higher self is here to guide you. Through the work that I do, we help you get reconnected so that you can feel and clearly get your guidance and like not feel like you're crazy because it is those simple things of your day in and day out life. The karmic two by four and the karmic boomerang and the karmic BS, this is all about your day in and day out life and making things better for you, smoother for you flowing for you. Not everyone has the luxury to go off van lifing or have, you know, a rich sugar daddy or have a rich sugar mama or have family that's going to support them through their what they view as your craziness. Okay? Does your family think you're crazy? Is it time to start taking charge and get the sensible guidance that actually benefits you? Benefits your health and well-being, your emotional well-being? The well-being of your psyche, because your psyche is a really deep part. That's the part where you feel your passion. This is why a lot of people who've only met a narcissist can't understand why do twin flames think this is passionate. You haven't even tapped that part yet. You're still getting those karmic two by fours upside your head by engaging with a narcissist or trying to make it work or trying to somehow feel put upon and like that's you that's what you attract i'm here to help you get off of that you are not a trash magnet you are not a narcissist magnet you are here for something very special and very new this is literally the newest thing under the sun and the sun is flaring it up and trying to spark it up in all of us yeah there's things burning off yeah there are things burning yeah there are people repeating karma but when you observe this, you're going to be like, wow, they just did that. Okay, I have to take care of myself now, okay? There's a different way it happens where you have compassionate detachment. You are detached but compassionately because a solution may come to you. And if it doesn't, you wish for solutions for that person. You don't just abandon them, wish it for them. What you cannot attend to, if you cannot roll up your sleeves and directly help, do it indirectly where you wish it for them and whoever else needs to come to the rescue. Has anyone else besides me noticed that, you know, there are people that live in a state of crisis? Yes. Those are people who've been traumatized. Those are people that grow up in houses where they've had alcoholic and addicted and sick parents. People who have a parent who has been sick, breast cancer, they're taking chemo, they have to take medicine, rheumatoid arthritis, they can't do certain things. It's really hard. Are you an adult child of a sick parent, sick addicted or alcoholic or all of it? Okay, because alcoholism is an illness. I know this. It runs in my family. Okay, I'm here to say the buck stops here. No more of those karmic boomerangs. No more of it in the future generations. What else can happen? Okay. 
you need to have your sensible guidance. This is about your wisdom. So now look, as I'm recording this, this is in maybe the time of Gemini. Hi, Geminis. I, people I love are Gemini. Sometimes they behave like they have one head and two faces because sometimes they're in a protective mode. They're not sure which face to present to the world. Okay. I get it. Okay. I'm the next sign. I will sometimes seem very crusty and I'm all mushy on the inside. Okay. I have feelings. Sometimes you wouldn't know. Some of us have feelings. Everybody has feelings, okay? And I know a lot of people, they don't know what to do, and they're just sitting there in the comments section and going, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You're not good, okay? You're actually going to do this, and it's not me doing it to you. It is your higher self will nudge you along. If you need to take five years to do it, you're going to do it. Now, I recently saw this video uh, someone sent me. It was kind of funny. Dolores Cannon, who I love, and she's gone, but she left a nice body of work, which is what I hope one day is that my body of work of 40 webinars, eight books already, this is going to help people who really want to be helped, who really acknowledge their journey. Anyway, she said some people are on a resting life. I too have read this in people. It's usually people who've been enslaved. It's usually people who've been indentured or conscripted or pressed into service. But here's the difference about karma. If they stay there, they repeat it. They wind up feeling like they're a slave to someone, even if they're not in a slavery bound type of relationship with someone who actually owns them. They feel owned. They feel work trafficked. Okay, those are traumas too. And I'm not making light of this. This is serious stuff. This is stuff that he has recurred and recurred because that's karma. Karma repeats. Karma recurs. Okay? People may not like to hear that because they want this to be their spiritual journey. They want a series of really high-level experiences. You only get that by engaging your brand new light body with your twin flame reconnection because... I'll tell you why. That's what's new, okay? Your higher self does not want to support old things. Your higher self may give you a grace period, but karmic two by four upside the head, karmic boomerang where things just keep uh, cascading, these cascading events where this happens and then that happens and then it's like watching a train wreck. We all know people like that, but some people cannot see that mirror for themselves. They can't see that in their own life okay this is why we help because we want to smooth this out we don't want to rub your nose in it we want to help you out of it we want to give you that helping hand that helps pull you up and get you to a safe level where you can do this these are energetic levels and we want to make it easier for you so while this full moon may expose or like highlight or spotlight something that you need to attend to try not to let it overwhelm you try to focus on that thing bring it with you to our next webinar class or have a session we do coaching for these things it could be your marriage it could be a chronic illness it could be your nagging doubt it could be um really feeling lonely it could be not just nagging doubts but things like Losing hope that is this ever going to happen? Yeah, because if you're here, okay, you're going to hit the wall. The only way to rise up that wall is to get your light body open. So you have a healing period from here to here. But we want to get you here. We want you to stand with your own two feet on that level. That's what we're here to do. We also offer a practitioner course for those who want to be able to help people. This is the difference. There's two energies. There's the person and the real person who loves them beyond all earthly measure. Because after all, this is about love. It's about passionate love. It's about intimate love. It's about I get you without you having to say a word love. It's about those people that think you are the most beautiful thing. It is the person who is attracted to your energy. And they're not with you for any type of personal gain. 
they want to be in your presence. They don't want your money. They don't want you to be sugar daddy, sugar mama. They don't want you to supply their drug habit. They don't want, they're not, this is why we're getting rid of this karma first, okay? You have to get rid of those people. They can't be hanging on you. Even if they were your ex, even if you had a few good times and a picnic and, you know, a camping trip or a vacation or you lived with them, your soul is not going to support them. Your soul, your higher self is supporting you and is sitting there saying, come on, keep coming, keep being funneled to the brand new open door that gets you where you really want to be. So let us help you get there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful holiday if you're celebrating or a nice long weekend and be ready to get to work because we have much more and this is on. Thanks so much. Bye.